Again today I will go soaring through the sky My enemies, I'll dish them up and up to fry Grace is God, is love of life Clutches from up above At dinner time I always show the cup some love What are you singing? Just this little victory song I made up We stopped for Edy. Now it's time to take down Hades Not quite We still have to contend with our forces Specifically, Arlon is the Reed. Oh, is he one of her commanders? Yes, and he has a weapon so lethal it makes reset bombs seem like firecrackers. Arlon's base is close by. You see the moon? Yeah. It's really pretty tonight. And what about that? Like I said, they're pretty. Wait a sec. They're two moons? They're like eyes watching you. Aw. I wish they wouldn't. I get stage fright. Whoa, whoa, whoa! What kind of moon is that? That's no moon. It's a space station. That's Arlon's lunar sanctum. Clearly, there's more to it than meets the eye. Very cool. And dangerous. I take it back. It's not cool at all. We're going in. Telling me. With all this firepower, Arlon must be preparing for a massive attack. Why on earth would I be attacking? I'm far too busy defending my dear. Huh? You must be Commander Arlon. Pleasure to make your acquaintance, Lady Palatine. And yours too, young master. I have heard tales of your prowess from our mistress. Well, that's really nice of her. She said I mustn't let your attacks spread chaos here, of all places. Before you cause no unnatural harm, let us sit down for the I might consider it if you withdrew your forces and banded with us to face the Underworld Army together. Those decisions fall to the will of Mistress Lee. Unfortunately, it's entirely out of my purview. I do hope you understand. What's the purview? And why do you talk like that? My guys are supposed to be more like... Grah! And I'm gonna kill you! Ah, the young master is skilled in impressions, I see. Would you care to perform more? Ah, uh, that's all I've got.
so ritzy. It's like a whole other world. A classier world. I'm deeply flattered by your gracious compliments. Who knew the Lunar Sanctum would be so nice? I could get used to a place like this. Perhaps you could. But the Lunar Sanctum doesn't have room for any more guests. Are my eyes playing tricks on me? Arlon seems to have a penchant for visual trickery. It's just a little something I whipped up to whet your appetite. This is so annoying. Lady Palutena, help me out here. Deploying the Palutena Super Sensor. I didn't know you had a Super Sensor. <laughs> I'm like this. Don't fret, you can use the green arrows to guide your way. Now how did you manage to place those here? Seems you've infiltrated the Lunar Sanctum's control for Palutena. That leaves me relatively defenseless. I'd best rectify that post haste. If you'll excuse me, I must go gird my loins. TMI! Nobody wants to hear about your loins!
too! Seriously, that is the last time I want to hear from two. Arlon, did you call the two here? I most certainly did. He's not usually going to follow orders. How did you persuade him? It was quite simple, actually. Just the mention of young Master Pitt's presence was enough to send his twin running here. And two just isn't happy unless he's fighting someone. You say that like it's a bad thing. You stay out of this! Thanks! myself in the golden melody of her sneeze. That's why you should cover your sneezes. I would never. A strong sneeze is the sign of a strong spirit. the Serene. I am well aware of my name. But back to the topic at hand. I cannot tell you the reasons why this sanctum was built. But I can say that it runs on my cars. Without me, it's just a husk, an empty shell, an orbiting house of cars. Ooh, sounds fancy. I don't think we're getting the whole story here. You are in no position to demand explanations. I am beholden only to Mistress Marie, and you two are thorns in her side. You've made your allegiances quite clear. Then enough talk. Let's get back to fighting.
that seems to be the case. Lucky to have such an excellent gun. Though we're on opposing sides, I must commend your work, Paladin. Thanks. It's just part of my job. Besides, Pip's the one doing all the heavy lifting, which is especially impressive for someone so small. Quarters are directly ahead. Good luck. Arlon! Welcome. Please make yourself comfortable. It is my great honor to represent Mistress Veridi and the forces of nature. Nothing. I'm not so sure, but Veridi's forces are still a threat, so let's keep the heat on them. 